The latest Chinese Air Force J-10 fighter jet training video shows that the new generation of Chinese fighter pilots have been engaged in a lot of fitness activities, greatly strengthening their muscle strength, which is of obvious significance for pilots of highly maneuverable fighter jets like the J-10 and J-20. Before going further, please subscribe, share and comment, thank you. In the past, some Chinese pilots' physical condition was not ideal, not only lack of ability to withstand the high overloads of aircraft maneuvers, but some were even in average physical condition, due to factors such as obesity. Now, the pilots of the new generation J-10 and J-20 are obviously able to withstand high-intensity flight through a lot of fitness training, especially the huge overload of new fighter jets such as J-20. By keeping fit, pilots can also gain sharper thinking, better endurance and longer service life. The performance of China's J-10, J-20 and other fighter jets has improved, making the body endurance of pilots become bottleneck in high mobility flights, which cannot keep up with the increasing demands of overload. Pilots experiencing loss of vision and consciousness during heavy overloads from 7G to 9G are becoming more frequent. It takes technology, as well as the pilot's own fitness, to make sure the pilot withholds the movement of the skin, muscles, internal organs and the blood being thrown to the abdomen and legs, improving the blood flow to the head, and reducing the likelihood that the pilot will lose vision and then consciousness due to a lack of oxygen to the eyeballs and brain. After the appearance of J-10 and J-20 fighter jets, 5G overload lasted more than 100 seconds in flight, and there were more and more repeated situations, and the ultimate overload frequently exceeded 9G. For example, under the overload of 9G, the neck of the J-10 and J-20 pilots has to bear nine times the weight of the head plus helmet, which reaches more than 70 kilograms, equivalent to the weight of an ordinary person. At this point, it is entirely up to the pilot to exercise his neck muscles to solve the problem. At the same time, J-10, J-20 fighter pilots need a strong body to reduce the intense dizziness and nausea headache state, avoid the complete loss of responsiveness, or as soon as possible to get put of the plight of vision, consciousness temporary loss. Adding to all these, fighter pilots such as J-10 and J-20 often have to turn their heads to observe the battlefield situation under high overload when they frequently make drastic directional changes with high overload. No matter how fit a pilot is, it is impossible to 100% avoid damage to muscles, ligaments and bones. In particular, injuries to the cervical and lumbar vertebrae are an occupational disease that has plagued fighter pilots for a long time. Effective fitness is also conducive to the pilot's efficient injury prevention and recovery process, and the ability for hand and leg operation of fighter jets such as J-20 will also be improved.